Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to Look Back. This is where I take a look at reviews I did a year, five years, and ten years ago this week and tell you what I think about them now. So last year, took a look at Macbeth, which is about putting on a play of Macbeth, but it was so much take that, so much, it just, it looked like a really cool game. I liked the artwork and everything. The game just fell flat for me. Happily, Crypt, a game which did not look that great. I did not think it would be that good, but a nice little set collection game. A great little filler that I think a lot of people missed seeing. It just, it plays really smoothly. It's nice. And I look forward to seeing what else this company comes up with. 1906 San Francisco was the first game I played in this small box series that really, the only thing they have in s similar to them is that they all are games with dates. Uh, so this one happens to be 1906, you're rebuilding after the earthquake. This is a solid game. I think I would have liked it better had it been a board game because you're using cards as the board and it feels like they tried to cram too much into the box. But it's still a pretty neat game as you move around and pick what actions you're going to take uh, around kind of a large rondelle. Call to Adventure. This is this shies really close to almost, I mean, it is a game, but it's more of an experience in a game. You're basically going through and telling a story of your character with absolutely stunning artwork. And it's, you're basically just saying, here's what happens, flipping different tokens and trying to beat different goals. At the end of the day, I don't care if I win or lose. And it's just fun to show the different character and how the points in my fantasy life change based on what I decided to do. Welcome to Dino World is easily one of the most complex roll and write style games that I've ever played. In fact, there's a basic and advanced game, and the basic is complex enough for me. In it, but it's kind of like a Jurassic Park as you're trying to form these things and not have your lines go down. And in fact, there's more of a chance of rampaging dinosaurs in this one than there is in many of the bigger dinosaur board games. Ticket to Ride London, excellent game. The small little Ticket to Rides. This one has a, another a small way to get a few extra points, and it uses those double-decker buses, which is cool. Point Salad, this one keeps going up for me. This is just like an ultimate filler. When I talk about ultimate fillers, my whole life, we, you know, we come across, we, you know, we, we talk about no thanks over and over and over again. We talk about for sale over and over and over again. I think we're gonna talk about Point Salad over and over and over again. Take some vegetables, take a point scoring card. Simple, simple, simple. Like it a lot. Uh, not to be outdone, no. Century New World. Uh, possibly my favorite in the series. It's kind of a, it, it goes back and forth between this one, which is the third one, and the first one. The worker placement in this game is fantastic. And the combination of the first and third together is my favorite way to play the game. It's so good. Um, just love it. And then the expansion I played for Seventh Continent, what goes up must come down. It's, I love that game, it's so good. And this added air balloons and underground tunnels, so wonderful. All right, nothing from five years ago. I was at Origins five years ago during this week. And 10 years ago, I just reviewed two games, Ablaze, which is a game about putting out forest fires, but it's very, very, very abstracted to the point where I found it a little boring. And Aladdin's Dragons, the card game. I love Aladdin's Dragons. The card game took a lot of the fun out, and it's an okay card game, but I'll never play it over the board game. I think that the board game is vastly superior. It's, it's fine, it just doesn't really have any need to exist. Anyway, those are the games that I reviewed a year and 10 years ago. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching Look Back on the Dice Tower.